This tutorial is going to be on the basics of using Adobe Premiere to uh, capture and edit video. Okay, so what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is just the basics of the Adobe Premiere interface and how to capture video. Uh, Adobe Premiere is a big, pro uh, big program, so we can't do everything in one tutorial, so I'll just show you those basics. All right, so I have a pro project that I've already opened up. And let's take a look at the interface of Adobe Premiere so you get used to it. So over here on the left-hand side, upper left-hand side, you have your project window. And this shows you all the different media that makes up your project. Okay, so you have uh, videos, you could have audio files, you could have still images, and uh, you have sequences, which uh, a sequence uh, is one of these timelines down here. This is a timeline, and I'll show you that in a minute. So basically, anytime you capture video or import video and audio and, and images, they show up in here. Okay. So uh, next to that is a preview window. And this will show you a preview of whatever media over here you double click on. So if, if I want to preview this clip here, I'll double click on it and it will pop up in this window. And you can see down here we have a little timeline we can scrub through. We have a little playhead we can scrub through, just drag it. We can find different points in the video. We have uh, play controls. We can play and uh, go through the video this way. And we have some in and out points for setting the in and out point. Again, I'll get to that in a minute. All right, and next to that is the program view. And this is going to show you uh, the actual video that you are actually editing. Okay, so um, again, the controls are exactly the same as the controls in the preview window. The difference is it's just showing you what's down here in this timeline. And uh, as you can see, again, the play controls are exactly the same. So the timeline down here shows you an overview of the video you are editing. So as you can see in the timeline, we have these different pieces of video. And by clicking on them, you'll see that it selects the video and the audio together and you can uh, move these pieces around back and forth and uh, move them on different tracks and whatnot. Um, you can uh, apply different effects and whatnot down here in the uh, timeline as well. So this shows you the video that you are working on and as you can see these little slashes here in between that shows you where things have been edited. All right. So uh, finally over here is the tools that you will use to edit the video. You have your selection tool, a uh, 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 razor tool to cut the video and whatnot. And uh, over here finally on the uh, other side are the, is the effects panel. If you want to add some professional looking effects and transitions to spice up your video. All right, so let's see how we capture video now because that's the first thing you're going to need is some, to import some video to start editing. Okay, so to capture a video, we go up to File and Capture. And as you can see, you could also press the F5 key. So File, Capture. Okay, so the Capture window pops up. And uh, you'll see um, the window's black right now because there's no video playing. But uh, down here are some uh, controls. The these will control your camera or DV deck. And uh, th if... Um, there's a problem with your camera or DV deck if it's not plugged in correctly to your computer all these controls will be grayed out so you will know if they're highlighted that everything is working correctly okay if you hit play here I'll give it a few seconds okay so it will start playing the tape that is in your camera or, or deck alright so you could play the tape and find a spot that you want to start recording at stop alright so when we want to um, record capture the video we can just hit play and then hit record and uh, let's go ahead and do that now I hit play start playing and we'll hit record and you'll see up here it says capturing uh, the, the movie clip and it'll tell you how long it's been capturing it for and you'll see here it says untitled clip 3 it takes whatever name you have uh, assigned for it over here in the clip data data so you can give it whatever name you want before you start capturing. Okay, so once you've captured uh, all the video you want, you could just hit stop or hit escape. We'll hit stop. Okay, and then it gives you another chance. You can rename the 
clip that you just uh, did here. So I'll call this like capture one dot avi, and I'll just hit OK. And as you can see, it it is automatically added to your project window here, your list of media in there. Uh, another option you have is you could uh, just hit the uh, tape button here, and that will capture uh, the whole tape starting from where you're at right now. So we'll just hit tape and it starts playing for us and it will capture until the end. We don't have to stop it manually. We'll just keep going until it gets the, to the end of the tape or runs out of uh, usable video and uh, runs out of time code. So um, I'm not going to do that because it's long tape so I'll just hit stop and you'll see it gave it asked me for another name. I'll just say capture 2. That's fine. Okay, once we're done with this capture window, we can just hit the little X up here and close that capture window. And now you'll see that those two pieces of video uh, have been added to our uh, project window. All right, so that's the basics of capturing uh, video in Adobe Premiere.